That shrimp paste was the strongest shrimp paste I've ever had in yes. my life. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you so much for clicking on that video. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Hims. They are providing solutions for a lot of the male issues in life, hair, skin, other things. But anyways, more on that later. Enjoy this video. Yo, what's going on everybody? Fung Bros here. We're here with Richie and we are in the hometown of Kent, Washington inside of Lamb's Bistro. And in this video, we are about to show you guys what's beyond, beyond food. We're gonna show you guys even some more dishes that you guys may have not heard before. Hey, it makes sense because the Asian American community gets more and more advanced every year. So you start to see more and more advanced dishes every year. Let's, Let's go. go. You guys can't smell it right now, but this is a very pungent table right now with the uh, pineapple <laughs> shrimp paste. This is crazy. Round, Round one. one, the beef stew. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that tastes really Western. Would you, oh really? Yeah, the tomato base, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you guys say you guys are somewhat uh, pretty familiar with Vietnamese food? I would say for a non-Viet and a person who doesn't speak Viet, I, I'm pretty familiar. Yeah. And even these dishes I never had before. I think you went with the tri triple pork belly. Oh yeah, my. yeah, triple pork belly. All right, guys. That is pungent. That sauce right there. <laughs> All right. I hate to compare it to uh, stinky tofu. Okay. But Do it that, does though. have some elements of that. It is fermented shrimp paste sauce. So uh, I, I got the piece of pineapple in there. Hopefully it'll offset mm -hmm. it, but. Wait, 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 which, the thing you gotta wrap it with. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Watch you see this. it, you I'm see switch it. switch this around. I can, switch the pork I can take some funk. <laughs> and that, it's good, but it's it, funky. It threw me off a little bit. <laughs> that shrimp paste was the strongest shrimp paste I've ever had in yes. my life. I might just take a spoonful. I'm not going to do that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. You got to isolate the element. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. Plus, you said you were going to do it. So. I did. I didn't you say I was going to do it. You said it. I, I, take, no take back. No I take said back. it, and I kind of like took it back. No but take back. No take back. No take back. No take back. <laughs> Yo, he ate that like Yo. some soft serve. <laughs> Yo, I just noticed that Andrew started shaking. <laughs> That's why you have the pineapple to offset it. That's why you have the fresh greens. Everything kind of blends together and is a balance. The uh, sourness of the pineapple really did help, actually. I'm not going to pour the sauce all over the clam noodles, but let's serve up the clam noodles first, taste it without the sauce, all right. and see what we want to do with it. All right, who's first? David? Please. Oh gotcha. Let me get you some. Mango, banana flour. I've never even had banana flour, so I don't even know what that Richie, is. Richie, have you ever had this in Vietnam? Never. The clam never, noodles? Never. I feel like you gotta search for this. Like, I've been to the, you know, traditional weddings at the house and whatnot. I've eaten the street food. You don't see this. I just uh, tried the clams. Pretty mm. subtle. Has mm. some nice flavor to it. Mm. Has a uh, lemongrass taste to it. We've got the mango and onion. We've got the lemongrass clams. I thought the lemongrass clams was a flavor I've never had before. Mm. It's like stir fried or grilled lemongrass mm. clams. Put a little bit of the mm -hmm. house special sauce mm. in here. That house special sauce completely changed the complexion yeah. of the clam vermicelli dish. First time clam vermicelli. Mmm. Yeah. You know what? I could totally see taking people to come get that vermicelli clam dish. Mm -hmm. Because it's different. I, it is yeah, different. It'll just be people be like, oh, I haven't had like I've had this and this, but not all yeah. together. And it does have some elements that you are kind of familiar with. You have your traditional noodles. You have some, you know, like fresh greens in there. The clams, those are flavored in a way that you might not expect, but I'll say it was a nice surprise with the lemongrass and everything. Woo! All right, that's it for round one. Definitely tried some stuff that I had not had before, um, but round two is coming up and we got some very, very interesting rolls. Yeah, spring rolls. <laughs> Two. All right, you guys, these are appetizers Woo! that I've never had before. Especially this one, Rich. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at? Man, we're looking at like a, you got a wonton shell right here with the uh, outside, and then you have like, I think that's pork, and then inside of that is a quail egg. This is a quail egg. That is a quail egg. It looks right like there. almost like a, like a little eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> when would you eat this? I've actually never had this. You've never had this. I've never, never had, had this. this dish. I've never had this dish. It tastes a lot like chicken eggs, except the yolk actually makes up more of a bigger portion of the egg. And ratio. I would say the yolk is a little bit creamier, maybe? Yeah, no, yeah. I think it's you fair. Guys, both you guys are big fans of quail eggs. I, I like, like quail eggs. I like, I like quail eggs. Yo, hey, I'm dipping it. 
So what do we have here? Like a uh, okay. So this, this is almost like this is almost like the, the Vietnamese crab rangoon. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Yo, when I bit into that quail, like actually it oozed all the yolk, the creamy yolk mm -hmm. that you were saying, oh. into the bag. Yeah, oh. this is a lot of textures going on. Yeah, crispy shell, a creamy pepper in here, pepper, meaty meat. Yo, you guys, we have two types of fresh rolls I've never seen before. Yep. For the people that are ordering at home, I know sometimes there's mm -hmm. some miscommunication between what's an egg roll and a spring roll. So you got the uh, spring roll right here. This is non-fried rice paper. And then you got an egg roll, and that egg roll rice paper actually has egg mixed into the uh, roll as well. And that's right. deep fried. So it's a little bit fresher. A lot of people like this as an alternative. They have this at a ton of vegan spots mm -hmm. and whatnot. This is a lot healthier. A lot healthier, obviously, yeah. And this fresh roll yeah. has mango in it. It has mango in it. Uh, this has coconut shreds right here. This is crazy. And the thing with uh, spring rolls is you could eat this with uh, fish sauce or a peanut uh, dipping sauce right here. But with egg rolls, not a lot of people eat that with the peanut dipping sauce. I like the coconut one. It has um, the fresh jicama. It has the fried tofu and it's got mm -hmm. shredded coconut. I just haven't had coconut meat rolled up in a spring roll before. Nah, can I have some cup? I like it. You like it? I like it. That was my favorite thing I had so far. The uh, coconut one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right here, I got the sweet potato fried fritter with a mm -hmm. shrimp pot in it. Yeah. Because it looked like the shrimp was jumping. Richie, tell us about this one because it got stuck. if you're not oh. vegan, you may not have had that yeah, before. Yeah, I don't know too much about it. I just know my mom makes it during special occasions. They put the shrimp, they deep fry it, just floats, and then you put it on the Those plate. are not french fries. These are sweet potato fries with batter, and then you're gonna uh, wrap it in this lettuce and then dip it in. Yeah, Wait, man. you just made a sandwich roll. Hey, no, go. not you, that's okay, you, that's I'm, you. I'm gonna go ahead in first, man. Oh, oh. Hey, that's the more modernized version. A lot of flavor. Can I, can yeah. I just dip it in regular I'm, without the lettuce? Get the head in first, like this. Yo, that Eat is a everything. Egg. I will say this dish right here kind of embodies what a lot of Vietnamese um, dishes have. You got the fresh element, obviously, with the lettuce. You have the saltiness from the fish sauce, but then you have the deep fried inside right here. That is something, that combination right there, you're gonna see pretty commonly done. Oh, almost the most, maybe out of any culture. That's a deadly combination that has made the Viet food. Beep, 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 beep. A lot of people, I think, that are used to eating Vietnamese food growing up, especially like, you know, the parents and whatnot, they have this term called yang, which means kind of like it's only hitting on one cylinder, you know what I mean? They're used to Vietnamese food where you you got the sour, you got the sweet, you got the deep fried, and that's why, like, my parents, they don't really like, you know, maybe pasta. It's a little bit in that oh, lane too head much. Head yeah, a little, like, every it's, bite it's, feels the same. It's creamy noodles with creamy sauce. Yes, exactly. So yang is the term that I'm talking about. Vietnamese food, definitely not that. Hey, Rich. Yo. Let, what a perfect transition into fried shrimp chip <laughs> paired with shrimp salad. A lot of people like eating this while they're drinking. They call it nyao. Well, you mean drinking food? It's drinking nyao. food, yeah. Oh, you put it on the chip. Oh, like, we treating it. Man, leave it up to David to put the whole branch on there, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying to achieve the freshness. <laughs> hey, these look like some little boughs right now. Yeah. <laughs> these chips even look different. That was really good. Yeah. That was really I, good. Yeah. Yo, hey, I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical. Mm -hmm. Dude. I was a little skeptical, but it was good. It was yeah, really it was good. good. <laughs> Snail pork pops. Yo, this is actually one of my favorite things to do is eat the native food mm -hmm. with people who haven't had it before. And I would say that this is a common theme on our channel because I don't know if you guys know, and sometimes it's kind of unfair because the internet kind of judges us on this like super authentic scale. Yeah. But being raised in America, you don't eat as much of your motherland food as somebody who like was born and raised there. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, but you know how sometimes people be like, oh, you haven't had the snail sugar cane, and you're like, hey, <laughs> I had a lot, okay, but I didn't have that yet. Oh man, they're, they're, you know, that's the internet for you. Very critical, but it is what it is, you know, you just gotta enjoy it. No, it's the, fair, it's, you it's know what, fair. I take it, I it's, take it. It's fair, but, but we did not have access to this growing up, okay? Nah. I do not think there was a restaurant that was serving this dish mm -hmm. until maybe Lamb's Bistro in our area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, we gotta give a shout out to Gabe Tran behind the camera, because he just came back from Vietnam for two mm. months. Try this. Bye. Gucci Man Gabe. Snail. That looks that looks tender. And that looks juicy. To be honest, it just tastes like meat. <laughs> what? Wait, let me, <laughs> maybe, Whoa. Maybe, I, maybe I didn't get it. He a, said it tastes like meat. You got a lot of pepper in here. That's yep. for sure. Uh, there are definitely some bits of snail, but I don't think it's that strong. Yo, these smell like dessert right now. Smell one of these sticks right now. So tell me that it doesn't smell like French toast. Yeah, like a French toast stick with maple syrup on top. Yeah, it does. Let's try that after this. I'm gonna uh, go in on this Nick Mom wing. This almost tastes like buttery popcorn. Mm. These are very heavily glazed wings. They are, they are. This, mm. one, this to me almost tastes like kettle corn tofu. 
I haven't had a good Nook Mom wing in a while. That's really good. All right, that was the end of round three. Do not <laughs> worry, guys. All that food is getting packed Woo! up. It's yeah. going to somebody. We're definitely. not wasting it. Always does, always does. Between the three rounds that we had today, uh -huh. I definitely ate a lot of things I have never had before. My personal favorite, it was the coconut tofu spring roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was good, that was good. I already thought spring rolls were fresh. Mm -hmm. is that, it, that was one more. Okay, I see what you You had never eaten coconut with tofu before, right? No. No. Especially fried tofu. <laughs> For myself, my favorite had to have been the quail egg with the pork and the wonton. That was that was interesting, man. I feel like it all came together, especially with the chili sauce and everything. Had a nice crunch to it. Anytime you add pork to something, it's gonna add a nice moisture to the uh, dish. My favorite was actually the clam vermicelli. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, those clam, each little clam packed a lot of flavor. You could tell by like almost how, how dark and the, uh, how deep the flavor had embedded itself into the clam. So <laughs> for me, my biggest takeaway, I think it's just so dope to see you know, when we were growing up in Kent, yeah. Kent wasn't necessarily known as the most diverse place 20 years ago. Me and Andrew just did an interview with NPR recently that said that Kent is the most diverse city in King County. I, I believe it, I believe yeah. it. If you go down one road, one road, all you gotta go down it, and you'll see a bunch of different types of cuisine. For myself, man, more of a like personal standpoint, if you see something on the menu that, you know, catches your eye that you've never had, I would suggest trying it out because you're gonna, it's gonna add a experience to your meal. It's something that you're gonna remember, you know what I mean? There's actually really, really good food uh -huh. in your neighborhood yeah. sometimes, you know? And I understand, not every neighborhood has this diversity of food, but man, definitely look out for things Keep your eyes open, stay open-minded. You don't know what you'll find. For me, now when I go to Vietnam and I have the clam vermicelli, yeah. it's gonna be a whole different experience yeah, having definitely. it. Because I'll be like, man, I had that at Lance B. Yeah. Drop. I'm gonna recall to the video. So I think those are the little moments that you don't really necessarily think about sure. there. Like, man, I cherish that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Beyond Beyond Pho, featuring our special guest, Richie Lee. Ooh, man. Thanks for having me, man. man this was good. Uh, I'm I'm full. Definitely in the comments below, let us know what other Beyond Beyond episodes we should do of let other cuisines. Know, man. Yo, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching that video. And again, shout out to Hims for sponsoring this video and sending us this kit. So as you guys know, we've been doing YouTube for years now. And to be honest, we probably look a little bit different than when we first started. These are hard conversations that a lot of people don't want to have. And you don't even have to go into the doctor to have them anymore. They will give you real doctor recommendations through the website for prescription and non-prescription remedies. And all this stuff that can help you is a lot more accessible now. Welcome to 2018. Personally, I've been using the shampoo lately and it's supposed to reduce the hormone DHT, which causes hair loss. Basically, it prevents hair loss. Feels good so far. So if you guys are interested in a one month trial of the comprehensive hair kit, it's only gonna cost you $5 right now if you click on the link below. It also contains prescription and non-prescription elements. Remember, $5, forhims.com slash fungbros. Check it out. Thank you for watching that message. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.